Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Lost Isle, and uh, here we are in the first dungeon. Uh, in the last video we got a heart piece in the overworld, and we also upgraded our shield to our lovely fire shield, or red shield, whatever you want to call it, that uh, it, it's able to deflect fireballs. So uh, here we are, a lot of you guys have commented in, well, the comments. And you've talked about how uh, I missed some things in the overworld, or you found some heart pieces yourself, or and whatnot. Uh, keep doing that. Uh, just keep posting those comments uh, in the comments, and I will cover those in later videos. I'm obviously not going to leave the dungeon right now just to go collect some heart pieces, but uh, that helps. And that. Uh, all right, wait, hold on. Wait, that didn't do it. Terrific. <laughs> um, it helps that... Ooh, look at that treasure chest. Yeah, it'll help me in the la later on, just collecting all the various goodies and such, so... Um, keep doing that, and if you're playing along and you find other little secrets, like other overworld items or anything that I'm missing, uh, please, please, this is uh, meant to be interactive, so let's uh, <laughs> help me out. You know, usually as Zelda Dungeon, we're the walkthrough people, and... Uh, you know, we help other people, but in this case, I could use your help. Yay! Alright, up or down, up or down. Let's go down, see what happens. And this clearly is a dead end, so let's go back up. Uh, hmm. What is this? Alright. A few other things I've discovered about this game uh, since my last playthrough. Um, I decided to look more closely, and uh, I found that... Uh, this game actually came with a little readme file when I downloaded it, and it actually has the names of all the enemies. So some of these enemies I've been sort of like guessing what they are. Some of them are pretty obvious, like these guys right here, they're little gels. I sort of like the gel sprites too, they're very reminiscent of their previous encounters and such. Uh, so there's like these gels, and then there's... This is an odd treasure chest right here, why is it open? Somebody stole the dungeon treasure? Uh, anyway, so there's like uh, some of the enemies, like the Octoroks, they're pretty standard, or I guess these are Gorias over here that toss boomerangs. But then other some of the other enemies, like they're not consistent with what Zelda enemies, sweet bombs, are usually called. Like, uh, I was calling them Keys because, well, anybody knows that bats in Zelda are known as keys. Well, alright, hold on one second. What do we got here? Nope. The compass? I want the dungeon map. Anyway, so instead of calling them keys, they call them cave bats. Really? Uh, so even though I guess, I, I wouldn't say that's the canonical name, because it's not a canonical game, but uh, according to the developer, the official name is Cave Bats. Well, forget that. I'm calling them Keys because they're Keys. And uh, I think there's other variations too. Oh, that was that was kind of rude. <laughs> you see that door just closed on me? Uh, Alright, so I guess we must go in a different direction and see what else happens. Let's see, what's here? This looks like a very uneventful room. Huh. Just random torches. It's just to burn the vines at the top, maybe? I gotta drop a bomb. Alright. I will ignore this room and come back at a later time when I figure out maybe what I'm supposed to do. But let's just continue progressing on to new uncharted territory. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, we were already here. This is just the little... Okay. But let me go explore that other room now. Uh, earlier, uh, this is area... I like how I opened that treasure chest already and got the little recovery heart. And it's closed again. Oh. <laughs> For a second I thought it was going to give me like an endless supply of recovery hearts. Uh, anyway, I was at this room earlier and I instead went to the left and... I went, uh, I went here and I went up and down, but I skipped over this room, so let's, you know, knowing me, I 
must go to every single room. So, uh, this looks awfully familiar though. Oh, the other room looks similar to this. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just a bunch of keys, aka cave bats. That really annoys me. Like, really annoys me. Oh! I like how that door, like, was awkwardly closed. Alright, so that just leads me here. Okay, so there's two paths leading to the same endpoint, pretty much. Okay. I can dig that. I like that. Uh, I do like, uh, so far what I've seen of this dungeon. It's, uh, rather un non-linear, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of diverse paths, it seems. Uh, uh, it makes it easy to get lost, I guess, but and there's a lot of rooms, too. I mean, this is... Alright, let's see. What's this thing? Alright. Ah, there we go. Alright, I guess this is pretty uh, typical Zelda. I assume that's some sort of switch. I'm a genius. All right. Oh no, wall masters. These guys are the bane of my existence. I don't even know what that saying means, but I always hear it. Anyway, oh geez, maybe I should just use my projectiles. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, more keys since ooh, these spikes go up and down. Oh sweet, you can use your sword while in the water. Try doing this in real life. Swimming with a sword, and while swimming, swipe at things that are flying above you. That would take some serious upper body strength. But apparently on Lost Isle, everything is possible. So, yes. Alright, let's continue onward. What do we got here? Hey, more torches. Oh, the door closed. Alright. Hmm. Oh, sweet. Maybe I got this mat on the ground. Oh, wait, can I go in here? Oh, sweet, some arrows. Let's, how about the other one? Let's close this off. This mat looks like it's going to be a place for a treasure chest. Maybe I have to align these. Push it. There we go. Come on. That spike just went through the block. That was ridiculous. Alright, well that didn't do it. Maybe I gotta put them in the corners? Or maybe this has nothing to do with anything at all? No, that's not doing it. How about the top corners? Okay, that is just... Oh, look at this. That, uh, that sort of defies physics. Just, I don't even know if it's physics, more just... Alright, I assume there's nothing here, so let's just continue onward. Um, maybe we'll check back at that special mat later on. Oh no, treasure chest! Okay, I'm under the presumption that, uh, with all this water, that this water will eventually get drained and go bye-bye. But, uh, let's see. Uh, this looks like a rather useless area. Or can I walk over here? No. Nope. Oh, there we go. And that leads to absolutely nowhere, so, uh, yeah. Let's continue onward in the dungeon. It's more torches. Uh, so another thing I discovered in... Uh, Wall Masters. That spike seems awkwardly placed. Like, like I'm thinking there is some sort of secret behind that, because... You know what? I'm just gonna let it be. some barriers at the bottom and let's skip that for now and so we cannot go into this water this water is too deep so I'm sure once the water drains we'll be able to go there all right that closed the barriers down here sweet uh, so anyway also in the readme file I also found out that there are only five dungeons in this game uh, which is kind of strange considering I read on the was it the over at Pure Zelda Classic, PureZC.com. Oh wait, treasure chest. What do we got here? Aww. I want a dungeon map. Uh, I heard this is a very long game, like 
very, very long, like over 20 hours, maybe even more. Alright, here's a random torch room again. Let's see, can I push blocks? No. I'm guessing these white stationary blocks cannot be pushed, since all the blocks I recall being pushed are different colors. So this is a rather awkward room, and, uh, well, I've made note of it. And, uh, hmm. So, yeah, like I said, there's only five dungeons, so I imagine the fact that there are... Wait a second, this is back at the beginning of the level. Alright. Hmm. I think we've officially looked at every single room that we could have looked at. Let's go back and see what I can find. Uh, so yeah, despite... <laughs> I keep getting uh, thrown off. But uh, uh, despite there only being five levels, I assume that these levels must either be incredibly long or there's a lot of overworld stuff. Since there's no way a game of that that's over 20, 25 hours or whatever could be only five dungeons. The only logical conclusion is that these dungeons are going to be very long. Okay, I wasn't at this room, so let's see what we got here. I do notice right away that... Ooh, bomb, sweet. This... I don't know if you can see that. That guy has eyes. Oh, that ain't doing it. But this one doesn't. Oh, bombs! Alright, that must mean... Let's try this. Oh. Well then! <laughs> Hello. Oh, sweet! Yes! Awesome. Alright, now we get... Ooh, there's another floor. I like how there's a little gel down there. Can I kill him? Yes, I can. Alright, so now that the water's drained, we have access to a significantly larger portion of the dungeon. Uh, Alright, there was a treasure chest right... Huh! Almost got caught by that wall master. So let's go get that treasure chest and see what we get. I want a dungeon map. Let's get a dungeon map. Please, dungeon map. Arrows. I like arrows, but meh. I want dungeon map. Okay, this is gonna lead nowhere then, because that door is locked. So we gotta backtrack back to back to the beginning. Although I'm sure we can go. I remember was that the was at the bottom left portion of the dungeon where there was that one like sea of water. Oh, I can't cross the bridge anymore. Oh no! So I can't get to. Ooh, wait. Yes, I can. Ooh, we got, we got not just a... Nice, we got Zoles now. Pretty classic Zell enemies where the gels split into Zoles. Can we get... Alright, we can get there. Alright, shall we check... Let's avoid the staircase for now, and... Let's... One floor at a time is my thought process. Okay, that's too deep. Maybe, maybe there's... You know what, that was light-colored, and this was dark-colored before. So maybe I have to drain even further... Or I don't know, maybe I just, the dungeon the dungeon item seems like it's going to be some sort of raft, I presume. But, uh, ooh, I can't cross that anymore. Did this room change? No, it did not. I still don't know what that room is for, but uh, we'll probably make our way back there later on. Um, yeah, so, as I've sort of hinted at several times now, ooh, look at this. Uh, the fact that this dungeon is probably incredibly long means I'm probably not going to finish it in one video. Ooh, wait. These eyes. That, that didn't do anything. Uh, means I'm probably not going to finish it in one video. So, uh, this dungeon is probably going to go on and on for, I don't know how many videos. I have no idea how long it is, but, uh, it'll go more than one. Alright, I gotta get that. Although, huh. Even if I could enter that room, that pot is in the way. So maybe I'll get the power bracelet. Or maybe the water has... I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, so this is going to be blocked off now, so I can't make it across. 
I can now head down that steps, but before doing that, let's... This area was... Oh! Look at that! Look at what we have here! It's just a dark room, though. There's nothing here. Come on, you keys. Get over here. We gotta push these things? Huh. This is an awkward room. Random bomb. Alright, well, I've noted that there is an awkward room in this corner, and we will check out this awkward room later on. Alright, let's head down the steps. Check it. Yeah, I'll play a little further and see what we can do. Alright, downstairs. Ooh, ooh, is that like an armo statue? Let's see. Well, this was useless. So, we have to make our way back to that... Oh, wait, I... Well, that has... Okay, that has barriers, so I can't go there. So it looks like, from what I can tell, that staircase that I passed up earlier is the only location we can go. So I think I'm going to head back over there, and I think I'm hovering near the... I'm over the 15-minute mark, so I think I will cut off this video at that point. And uh, I will continue onward in the lower floor of this dungeon in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, once again, leave your comments. Let me know what you think, and any comment suggestions. Oh, also, eh, I'll cover that in the next video. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, so join me next time, and we will continue our way through... Oh, this looks confusing. Through Dungeon 1. So take care, guys.